How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on the new official trailer for The Walking Dead, Dead City, because this new one that they put out just a few days ago really blew my mind a little bit, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it and uh, talk about how this show actually looks promising. Like, it looks like it could be a pretty decent series, which just excites me because... I didn't know if I was going to like the look of this show overall. I mean, you know, all the footage we had seen so far, like, I just wasn't super into it yet. You know, I wasn't 100% on board, and I'm not entirely sure why. I guess I was just kind of tired of all these spinoffs, and at the time when I was watching some of these earlier teasers they released, I was just, I don't know, not really feeling the show that much. But this new trailer that they put out... I'm happy to report that uh, I am now officially on board with this show, and I talked about it on the channel before, I wasn't even certain how many of these Walking Dead spinoffs I was going to watch, apart from the Rick and Michonne one, of course, but uh, if all of the spinoffs, like the Daryl Dixon show, and you know some of the other ones could look this good, then you know I am uh, very excited, I guess, for the uh, future of the Walking Dead universe, but basically, why do I like this trailer so much? What do I think was so interesting about it? Well, for one, I think just the city landscapes, the location, the setting of this show looks amazing. Obviously, it takes place in Manhattan in New York City, and I gotta say, it's giving me Last of Us vibes, which is a good thing. You know, if you saw the HBO show, The Last of Us, you'll know that well, end the video game, but you'll know that the cities look very, very cool, especially with all the overgrowth and just, you know, all the ruin and destruction of the city because it's been so far into the apocalypse now that things would look different. Things would look decayed and destroyed and overgrown at the same time. And I think that's what this trailer kind of pulled off really well, in my opinion. And I don't exactly know if they had a bigger budget for this show. I don't believe they did, but I think they were able to utilize their budget a lot differently compared to like the main show of the walking dead because well for one there's only six episodes in this season and not nearly as many characters and it's not nearly as big of an ensemble as the walking dead show is so really like the main stars are of course jeffrey dean morgan and lauren cohen and you know if you have a few other ones of course i think the woman from uh ozark is actually in this uh, one of the one of the Snells from Ozark, if you've seen that show. That was pretty cool to see her in this trailer. But, you know, I don't think they have as many characters in this series, which is a good thing because, you know, they can kind of just focus on Negan and Maggie. And they can utilize their budget very differently because now the landscapes look really interesting and New York just looks awesome. And I was very impressed just overall by some of these, you know, establishing shots that were shown in the trailer. And it definitely gets me excited just to see where things go and just the set design looks great. It really does. And uh, I'm very excited to see. And overall, the show just feels fresh. It feels new, which is something that we needed for the Walking Dead universe if they were going to continue with this universe. Which, by the way, I think the Walking Dead universe is still kind of a dumb concept. But, you know, hey, it looks kind of good, this show. So I'm very interested to see where it goes from here. Also, we have like mutated walkers or variant walkers still continuing in this series. We saw one that was running and kind of like jumping onto a building, which at first I didn't know if it was a walker or not, but I think it is. That kind of excites me. That seems pretty cool. Uh, and then also we have like that one, I want to say mutated walker that has like multiple, well, it has two arms, but it also has like three arms. I don't know. It looked like an amalgamation of multiple walkers and it was just kind of interesting, to be honest. Like, I, we haven't seen something like that in the Walking Dead universe before. We might have seen something like that in previous, you know, zombie medias, but, you know, not in The Walking Dead. And I know some people are kind of concerned about the fact that this is kind of stupid because, you know, the whole point of The Walking Dead was for it to kind of be realistic and the zombies were supposed to kind of be slow and not really, you know, being super fast because it doesn't really make that much sense. But, like, you know... In certain viruses like this, there are going to be mutations and stuff that kind of occur and the virus would, you know, mutate over time is what I'm trying to say. So it's not entirely out of the question that something like this could occur with the walkers, but I'm really liking the show so far uh, just in terms of how it looks. I mean, obviously we're not going to know until we actually watch the first episode or, you know, watch all the episodes, which I guess I will probably watch all the episodes because... 
yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty good, to be honest, and I'm definitely kind of stunned by this trailer in certain ways, and it'll be very interesting to see where things go and the storyline. Obviously, we know Herschel, Maggie's son, was kidnapped, basically, and there's going to be some people, some, like, bounty hunters of sorts, uh, going after Negan. Uh, Negan's like a wanted man right now in uh, Manhattan, and then they know that Negan's in Manhattan, so they're going to want to go after him and try and find him. So, And uh, Maggie and Negan have to work together, and it'll be very interesting to see their dynamic, and it's already looking really awesome. Also, the zip lining stuff in this trailer I also really enjoyed. I forgot to mention that. That looks really interesting. You see Negan zip lining like from building the building. What? It just looks so awesome. And like that big horde of zombies, of walkers, you know, all just kind of swarmed beneath. Um, yeah, it just looks great. I'm uh, very interested just to see where this all goes and how it's executed because. It looks very promising, and that is a good thing right now for the Walking Dead universe because, you know, it's kind of in a, a very peculiar spot right now. We uh, have Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 currently, but, you know, we'll see how good that season is. And, uh, you know, just some of the other spinoffs, how good they look. But, yeah, I'm just hoping that they can kind of, con like, keep up this momentum with some of these other shows and other spinoffs that they intend to do because in that case... I think we uh, should have some good television on our hands. So, yeah, that's just kind of my uh, brief thoughts on the trailer, though. Like, I just kind of wanted to make this video to give my thoughts on it because uh, I'm sure some people were curious. But uh, definitely loved the trailer and uh, looking forward to see where this all goes. But let me hear your thoughts on the trailer down in the comments below. What was your favorite part of it? What do you think is going to be occurring in this show? And, uh, yeah, let me hear all your thoughts on it down below. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my letterbox and Twitter down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.